Hi guys, John, Comet Sits Outdoors. So, I just showed you, talked about the netting needle and a mesh gauge, how to load the needle. We're ready to start making a net. So what you want to do is take your mesh gauge, take your cordage, hold it there, wrap one time, two times, and then tie a square knot right here. And I have to do with that in my hand. Now this isn't going to be a, a real strong knot and we're going to cut it out later. It just has to get us started. So we have two wraps on the gauge tied in a knot. We just slide that off. Now we have a loop twice the size of our mesh gauge. We're going to take that loop. I've got a D-clip here tied to a piece, hooked on a piece of paracord tied to the fence. All we have to do now is take our mesh gauge behind the cordage, run our needle behind the gauge through this loop. And we want to, on the first one, we want to make sure that knot is in the middle. So we have an inch there, an inch there. And then we pull till it, this loop right here just touches the top of the mesh gauge. Now you can see we have three lines. One, two, three there. We take our needle, flip our cordage over our wrist, go behind two, go behind one. and just pull that tight. The whole time I'm holding my thumb right here tight so that that doesn't slip out. And as I pull this tight, I just let it pull under my thumb. I don't lift my thumb, I pull the knot under it. Okay, another thing to mention is this 120 pound bank line that's tarred tears my hand up. So I'm gonna slip a glove on there real quick. <clears throat> So now we have a second loop. Pull it to the right side. Same thing, mesh gauge behind. Needle behind the gauge through the loop. Pull back down. Pull the loop right to the top of the gauge. Same thing, flip over the wrist. Behind two. Stay over the wrist. Behind one. Pull that down tight. When I'm pulling on a cord down here, I wrap the cord around my hand and pull down. That's why I'm using the glove. I don't pull on the needle. Uh, in the first video where I was talking about this needle that I carved in the mesh gauge, it's a soft wood. I don't want to put a bunch of pressure on it, pulling on it, but it does work good. Stay over the wrist. Okay, I need to get another loop off and get my cordage longer. Stay over. Behind two. Behind one. Pull that knot down. Let it slide under my thumb. gauge behind the cord, needle behind, through the loop, pull down, flip over the wrist, and I just realized why this isn't working as well as it usually does is I've got my hands uphill being tied to the fence here. Normally I would have my hands down so when I flip over my wrist it stays there better.
see how many we got now. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> when you're starting a net, you want to be, you want your first line of meshes to have an even number. And you have to take into account that we're going to cut that first knot out. Behind two, behind one. I'm getting all tangled up. Pull that tight. So now we have seven, and we're going to cut one out, so we'll end up with six. So what I'm going to do is take it off the ring. This first one is where we tied our knot. We don't want that one. Just because we don't trust that knot. So we're just going to cut that off for a second. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. The other thing is, is you want your line to start on top on this side. Your first loop is up here and your second loop is down and on the left side it will end on the bottom instead of the top so now we take our top row meshes one two three of the six and we just hook them over our ring just like that Now we go back to doing the same thing, and this is making the body of the net. First loop. This is the same exact thing we were doing. Flip over the wrist. Flip behind two. Behind one. Pull our knot tight. The only thing different now that we're making the body is we don't slide that off of our mesh gauge. We leave it on there. We go behind the mesh gauge with our needle, grab our next loop, pull it down to the top. I got something crooked there a little bit. Flip it over the wrist behind two. Stay over the wrist. It's not easy uphill. it tight again leaving it on bind up through the next loop pull that down to the top of the mesh gauge flip over the wrist behind two behind one Pull that knot tight. Now we've just made another row of meshes. We slide those off. There's that knot coming tight. Now, to keep going, you want to work left to right every time. So all you do is flip the whole thing over and do it again. the wrist behind two behind one pull that knot tight behind the gauge through the next loop pull it to the top of the gauge flip over the wrist behind two behind one pull that knot tight Behind the gauge, through the last loop, to the top of the gauge, over the wrist, behind two, behind one, pull that knot tight.
Now, I started with six meshes, which gives me three loops on my ring. Um, to make a 14 by 17 triangle, or rectangle, sorry. I would have seven loops around the ring and end up with a net this size. My next video I'm gonna show you several survival uses for a net this size. Um, 32, 35 cents worth, a lot of uses. You can see what's starting to happen here and I only started with three. And I would just keep doing that over and over until that net was as long as I wanted. It's pretty simple once you start to do it. Um, get used to doing it to where you don't have to think about it every time. So, you know, I haven't known how to do it very long. <clears throat> Learned how to do it. Started doing it. It's pretty easy. So, give it a try, guys. Hope you like it. Hope I explained it okay. Like, comment, subscribe. Make yourself a mesh gauge and a netting needle. Get some cordage and give it a try. Thanks for watching.